good, good morning. morning, Duane. Happy October to everyone. Yes. Uh, so uh, we, you you get the uh, co Coco and, and the Coco retired yeah. retired Coco. Yeah. So hey, <laughs> we're the <laughs> second team today. <laughs> second string is yeah, in. There we are. <laughs> so good morning and welcome to Chamber Chat. This morning we are talking about all of the fantastic events in October. Lots of good things oh, going on. Oh, we are so excited. And October is, of course, beautiful weather, wonderful things to do outdoors, and there's all sorts of things to do this weekend. That's right. But before we get to that, we want to uh, make sure that everyone is aware of our fun favorite annual event, the Habitat for Humanity Chili Cook-Off. And Tisha puckett Pryor is here to talk with us about it. Good morning, Good Tisha. Good morning. Good morning. 14 years in wow. for wow. the chili cook-off. So it was a great idea and it just keeps it going. It keeps going. It's, it just keeps giving back. Um, <laughs> it does, it does. October 27th is the date. So that's a Friday, 10.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. And weather permitting, we will be on the courthouse square. Last year, the weather was great. Yes, it was and, beautiful. Uh, Hope it'll continue. A great day. So we, um, we have about six teams, uh, I think, confirmed at this point. We love to have 10 to 12 teams, so mm -hmm. if anybody is interested in having a team, let me know. Uh, it's not very complicated. We just ask that you bring quite a bit of chili. Yeah, <laughs> especially, chili. especially if there's fewer than 10. Yes. Bring extra chili. Yes, and, uh, <laughs> and another, another fun component is our bake sale. Lots of churches. Uh, contribute to that and individuals who like to bake we we take all donations so if you have a favorite cake or cookie or something you'd like to donate to be sold um, have it on site by probably 9 30 or 10 on that day so that that's a that's a big fun and thing Tisha too. you have individual like for people to eat a dessert to just that's buy right. a plate mm -hmm. but then you also have pies that are whole that someone could just come by and yes. also buy something and pull it off that, you know. For the weekend. For, yeah. yeah. Oh, look what I did. Look at my delicious pie. Doesn't right. it look good? <laughs> Right. So, um, so even if you don't like chili, you can still support. You can have sweets. Yeah, you can still support the event by coming out and uh, finding something off of the delicious dessert. Well, That's you can buy right. individual cookies and brownies and uh, and whole cakes and yes. pies. So it's you can buy whatever. And uh, we're excited. Jason Evans and the Evans Mill team is going to be back this year. They've been Good. off for a few years. And you wonder why no one else competes. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and, uh, I tell you what, the board, the board of Education Transportation Department. Oh. They were new last. Year, oh. and they had a lot of enthusiasm and did yeah. great and they're yep. going to be back with us and then our our staples of the um, gas company Wilson, the gas company wilson bank and trust um the attorneys here in town oh, our no liability chili <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, the names are awesome. And then Tom, Tom Janey and the bean counters yes. from his office. So we know those folks are back in, and we're looking for more teams. And there's obviously plenty of time to, to get a team together. So, Tisha, so. if someone is interested in participating, how do they get a hold of you? Well, you can call my office, 615-597-7370. Uh, Great. You can also find me on Facebook and send me a message. And if, so. if it does rain... It will not, but if it does, where will it be? <laughs> we now? will be in the county complex, okay. and, that, and that works as well. Yes, so it does. It's a fun day, so plan to eat your lunch with us on October 27th. It's, right. And it's a donation. It not is. A, so we'll take whatever you can give us, and you can eat all the chili you want. And all the proceeds go to Habitat for Humanity. That's right. And the, Great cause. In, in the works for a, a new house to be built very soon. So great come out right. and eat thank Lots you Tisha. Thank, thank you well and and chili is a is a loose term in in that competition <laughs> even if you think of chili as like the red beans it's and the hamburger mm -hmm. you'd be surprised at the variety there is of, traditional and there's not traditional and so even <laughs> if you think oh i don't really like chili you should still come out because there are some wonderful things that some different that, types of different chili different types and different and of course they, it's very festive and lots of fun. People dress up too. And, so that's, uh, yeah, that's always and every, fun to watch. They all have themes that they're, if you've <laughs> never been, you just have to go. And that's at the, the last Friday of the month. So coming back to this weekend. Oh, yes. All right, so this is my, this is my suggestion for you. Today's Wednesday. Get a good night's sleep Thursday and Friday. A marathon. A marathon 
be well rested because we have so many wonderful oh, things yes. that are going on on Saturday and you don't want to miss a single one. So we have them all planned out, planned out for you so that you can just go from one to the next. All right. And we have Miss Diane Lynch here from Smithville Cumberland Presbyterian Church. They are having a fall bazaar and yard sale. So tell us a little bit about that. This is our second annual uh, bazaar. We do this to help bring down the ticket price for the simulcast for Priscilla Shire that we sponsor in the spring. Okay. Mm. We like to keep our tickets low so everybody can attend. Um, this year so far we have as of yesterday's crafters, <laughs> we have some homemade jewelry uh, with real stones and agates. Wow. We have um, the snap bead jewelry, um, electric diffusers, diffuser necklaces. We've got gourds. Uh, we have Oh, like painted, painted gourds? They've They're, got some in the raw state uh -huh. that he's drilled holes so that you oh. can take home and make your own. Oh, that And there fun. are some finished and yeah. some unfinished with the seeds still in them. Uh, we have homemade Christmas ornaments. We've got some vintage Thanksgiving and Halloween and Christmas decorations. We've got a 1920s East Side antique rocker that's been donated. Mm. We have several, several uh, Christmas items. And, and when does the event start begin? Tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. Eight o'clock till four, Thursday and Friday, and Saturday eight till noon. Great. And we have a lot of yard sale items. Lots of food too, it looks like baked oh, goods. And, and we have a home theater popcorn maker, a wow. real a real tall one. Oh, neat. So there, there's a lot of interesting items and mm. more vendors are coming in today, so. Sounds like lots of fun. So. And, and, and in general, it's a yard sale as well. There is a yard sale too, yes. So uh, people can uh, participate in the yard sale part. Can Are you still accepting vendors? Uh, we have some space left. If somebody wants to contact us, they can call the church. Uh, and what's that number? 615-597-4197. Or they can call me at 615-597-3029. All right. Sounds like Great. a fun day. It is. And it starts tomorrow, so yes. Ooh, there you go. Oh, yeah. That's great. Get through the 7th. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Ms. Diane. Thank you. Next, we also have uh, Smithville Church of God Twinkle and Twine Marketplace, which is, uh, this starts off our Saturday activities. Another Saturday activity, right. So this Saturday, October 7th from 9 to 4, and that's located at the Smithville Church of God Family Life Center, and that's at 801 West Broad Street. For more information, you can see the Smithville Church of God website on the Facebook page, or, Facebook, or their Facebook the page. <laughs> and then also, we have have the 5K and Fun Run for Down Syndrome Awareness. Yep. Uh, three, three, two, one, Run for Down Syndrome, Saturday, October the 7th at 8 a.m. at DeKalb West School, 101 Bulldog Lane in Liberty. For prizes and more information or to register, visit 321-RUN. 4ds.org or call 615-548-4624. And this is a great fundraiser. I know uh, lots of folks like to get out and, and do the 5Ks and the fun runs, mm -hmm. and they have a great path. It's a path that uh, folks who um, are familiar with some of the other uh, 5Ks that take place in, in the Liberty area, this is, uh, this is a great path, a lot of fun, and um, so we hope you'll come out and support. It's such a good cause. It is a good cause. Uh, for Down Syndrome syndrome awareness um, very very reliable folks who are putting that on and, yes. and uh, for a great cause. And that, you can eat all the food and you can go down there and run it off. There you yeah. go. <laughs> <laughs> or start off early yeah. and then justify yeah. all just, the other food. Just yeah. <laughs> Get a head start on it. Get a head start. <laughs> well let me take uh, just a minute to talk about the Federal Mogul Car, okay. Truck and Motorcycle Show. This is also this weekend and of course you know I work at Federal Mogul yes. now and this is a great event used to happen all the time. Federal Mogul used to have a, a car truck and motorcycle show and so they're kind of the activities committee is kind of bringing it back but wanted to make it available for the community not just for the employees of Federal Mogul so registration is between 9 30 and 10 30 there are so many different fun kids activities and um, bouncy bouncy ball bouncy kind of things. game bouncy <laughs> things and um, they're actually going to show cars at one o'clock uh, up in the city hall so it's a definitely a family-friendly event. We hope everyone that has any 
car, truck, or motorcycle of any type that you'll come out and participate. And all the proceeds are going toward uh, Christmas um, Christmas uh, charitable organizations here in DeKalb County. So all all of the proceeds are going to charitable organizations. All of these events are, are going toward worthwhile yeah. organizations yeah. and things that, for open, the community. Open for the community yes. and so it'll be uh, lots of fun to come out even if you just want to come out and look at the cars. Yes. If you have a vehicle we'd still love to have you wash uh, it, shine out. it up and oh, get it ready. Man. <laughs> Show it off. Show it off. <laughs> Also today we have okay. Ashley Anderson, is that correct? Yes. From, Good morning. And she's going to be talking about Caney Folk Music and Arts Festival. So let it, tell us a little bit about that, Ashley. Yeah, yeah, we're very excited to be hosting our inaugural event. It's called the Caney Folk Music and Arts Festival. It's going to be just up the road at 16639 Smithville Highway. And we're going to have folk and bluegrass music all day long. We're also going to be having a live celebrity auction, um, auctioning off some memorabilia from country greats like George Strait and newcomers like Kelsey Ballerini. Wow. We've got some um, Titan signed memorabilia and some other items we're going to be selling and 100% of those proceeds are going to be going to the DeKalb Prevention Coalition. We're really excited to come well, in and so write a check It'll be that. appreciated. Yep. So we're very excited for that. It's also going to be super family friendly. We have a giant kid zone with bounce castles and face painting. The state parks are bringing some raptors and snakes for the kids to play Ooh. with. <laughs> oh yeah. Snakes. Oh yeah. Susan loves snakes, doesn't she? Yes. <laughs> yeah. yes. And there'll be music all day long. We're going to have some great food out there. And when do the gates open? The gates open at 11 a.m. and it'll be going all day until 8 p.m. And tickets are... What What's the ticket price? Uh, tickets are $5 and $10. And you can get tickets at the gate or you can head to our website, www.caneyfest.com. Well, this is a fantastic sounding event. We yeah. wish you the best of luck. Yeah. Every time that you do something for the first time, you just never know exactly. But yes. um, but I know you've got lots of folks working really hard on this and it sounds like just right up our alley. Wow. So thank We're you so, so much. Excited. We are family so excited. friendly. Yes. yes. Bring the family. Yes. <laughs> sounds like fun. On. Great, thank you. Thank, thank you, Ashley. Thank you so much. Thank you, sweetie. <clears throat> all right, another church event on Saturday. Another one. I, yes. I don't know if we can take them all, okay. but we're going to, I'm going to. can make the rounds. They're I'm all going to get times. my comfortable shoes on in the morning and just yep. do as many as I can. Uh, also on Saturday, October 7th, is Clear Fork United Methodist Church 10th Annual Fundraiser, Supper, and Auction. So that's in uh, Big on Big Hill Road in Gazaway. So uh, just down the street, you really could do it's the fun of, run and then, yeah, and then go do that. Uh, dinner is being served from 3 to 6 p.m. And they're having uh, catfish or chicken. Listen to this menu. Mm -hmm. Catfish or chicken tenders. Your choice of pinto beans, white beans, or green beans. All the beans are in all there. The be all the beans. All the beans represented. Covered. Although I don't see red beans, but you know, okay. that's okay. Okay. At least three colors of yes. greens. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> your choice of veggie or coleslaw plus fries, hush puppies, dessert, and a drink, all for only $9. Wow. Wow. And there's going to be a drawing for country ham. So good. October, you got to start thinking about what you're going to have for the holiday. And uh, they are going to have a fun live auction, and that'll begin at 6.30 p.m. So everyone is welcome to yes, that fun, come out and enjoy fun this. event. And mentors needed to work with Tennessee Promise yes. students. A wonderful, wonderful. You know the library, we do uh, the, their community service hours. So right. you can contact the library for that. Just give us, uh, like I say, a little heads up when you're going to come. Don't call that day it's hard to <laughs> but we, we do we we love working oh you know how teenagers I know, are I know. oh look i don't want to commit to anything Let's but wait till oh the my last gosh minute. yes but right. we do love the, the students they come in they help us and out at you, the library you yes. you pull out all the stops with the help in these kids well we do so. tennessee promise offers every high school senior the opportunity to attend one of the state's 13 community colleges or 27 colleges of applied technology tuition Free. Yeah. Free. Free. Okay. The program also pairs. No each, excuses. No. It pairs uh, each applicant with a volunteer mentor to ease the tr transition from high school to college, and that is a big jump there. Right. Uh, in just 10 hours annually, you can make a lasting impact on a student's life. So please, you know, sign up for this. It's, it's a wonderful, worthwhile cause, and it helps our students, our future leaders. Yes. So so what this deadline is, which is December 1st. First, they need 22. Need 22, and, and so the students are busy in high school preparing on the high school mm -hmm. 
mm-hmm. and to be to be um, selected and and do what they need to do to be a Tennessee Promise student. What this is is a call for the Mentors. community yes. to have adult folks step up and help that transition between yeah, just kind the of- high school senior to getting ready for um, even though it's free, everybody knows that um, there are lots of changes There's between lots of things going high school. On. Yeah. And uh, and in this program, do the mentors get any training of any sort? I do believe that, that for in, information, I, I don't know if they do or not. They probably do have some type of training information for them, but they do need to, for additional information, they need to email uh, DCHS school uh, counselor, Lori Merrick, and her um, website or email address is Lori uh, Merrick at decabschools.net. So yep. get in touch with her. She can give you all the information on the training and what you need to do and mm-hmm. the hours involved. And then you're assigned so many students. Right. And then you kind of help them make the transition, help them remind them of when the deadlines are, <laughs> when they need to get their community <laughs> service hours in. Yeah. And so, you know, take advantage of this and please call and, and get involved in this. It's, so if you uh, know of an existing high school senior that you would like to mentor, that's a that's a great way to go it but is. even if you don't know anyone who you would work with this is just all volunteer and it's to help the students succeed in their their in next their step goals, beyond yes. beyond high school so beyond beyond getting there get there <laughs> yes we're so proud of all of our yes. all of our kids but this is the time of year where we're recruiting for the mentors so uh, next Saturday October 14th and I just heard the announcement on this uh, advertisement so I know they're they're out uh, promoting Caney Fork Electric is having their annual meeting Our of members 77th, 77th annual 77th that's a great Ooh, number it is so uh saturday october 14th at the mcminnville civic center and that's 500 Gar- garfield street in mcminnville and uh the business they will have a business meeting they will be electing directors and considering any new and old business the voting begins at 10 a.m now we all know that this is a very popular event they have door prizes lots of food food lots of uh, food yes lots of food um <laughs> great folks uh, lots of entertainment there will be uh, gifts and and so it's it's a big party caney fork will will show us a, a good time on that saturday the hours again voting begins at 10 a.m and uh, the business meeting is at 2 p.m and they're serving their barbecue meal from 11 to 1 30. so make sure y'all head down to the mcminnville Civic Center uh, on Saturday, October 14th. And enjoy some more good food and mm-hmm. gifts and door prizes. Yep. Uh, the fourth annual Paisley's Foundation Craft and Home uh, Show, Saturday, October the 14th, from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., DeKalb County Firegrounds, the Kenneth Sandlin Building in Alexandria. Free parking, free admission, vendors, uh, booths available for $25, inside or outside an 8 by 10 space, mm-hmm. nonprofit organizations to benefit families dealing with stillbirth and infant loss. Uh, for more information, contact Darcy Cripps at 615-464-5139 or email paisleyfoundation at gmail.com. And you can get all of this information through the Chamber website yes. as well. So uh, if, if things are coming by fast or you're not sure yes. how to spell something, just yes. Get Just contact us at, a, at the chamber and uh, we'll be sure and give you all the information. Next, one of my favorite guys from one of the favorite yes. places in DeKalb County, Ed Grevin State Park Updates. Good morning and how are you? Good oh, morning. Brad. Do, doing wonderful. Been Good. very busy, very busy, but we're the park's that's what we want. We yeah. Want, we want a lot of visitors. And so last fun. weekend, Ed Grevins had uh, a trailblazing kind of activity where you're yes, clearing. Yes, we had a couple. Of, we actually had two things going on. We had a, we're working on a, the, our friends group has got a story. They got a grant. And so they're working on a new trail. It's going to be a storybook trail. Ah. And the idea is uh, we're kind of borrowing something from Long Hunter State Park, but it's a, uh, the, the children will, or adults even will take a take this small trail and there'll be pages of a book on panels out um, along the trail and they can read they can hike and read the book and uh, we're looking for uh, trying to choose a wildlife or you know a parky kind of oriented story book, yeah story. yeah and uh, all that's a grant that the friends have got so we had we had a work day uh, last Saturday we got another work day coming up on the 
11th of October, uh -huh. I think. Yeah. Uh, or 11th, I'm sorry, the 11th of November. 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 Yeah. Um, and, um, but also the last Saturday was the National Trails Day, Public Lands Day. Yes. And so we had a National Public Lands Day hike before that, or while the same time that was going on. So we had a lot of things going on last Saturday. There's always something going on at the state we park. Are, and so the tell aviary, us. We've got, yeah. the, we've got the, our uh, Girl Scout uh, that's working on her goal project, Neely Evans. Mm -hmm. almost, I believe she's completed the, the project. Oh, so, good so for so her. We'll be getting some birds of prey here very soon. It's going to be down at the, down at the uh, Interpretive Center at the park. Uh, so that's been a big project. Our, our Boy Scout troop, they've, they've added a shelter down by the uh, swimming pool uh, for, for our cabin guests, because the pool's closed now, but it gives some people a place to gather, you know, mm. outside the cabin. Mm -hmm. So we've got all that going on. But wow. What we've got this October has been a, is going to be just a busy month. It's the fall colors coming up, all that. We're going to be really, really busy with this people coming out and enjoying the park. Tell oh. us about my favorite event oh, ever, yes. what is the, the History up. Hayride. That's right, yeah. the History Hayride is the uh, the October 14th. And I talked to Anna uh, yesterday, that's Anna Bertram, she's our fringe group uh, representative, and she said there are plenty of spots still available. And to register for that, you can go directly to the fringe group website, and that's www.foeesp.com. And uh, there's a link on there to, to take you to the History Hayride. You can uh, just Google Edgar you Evans. You can Google Edgar Evans and find, <laughs> out, find out, out all the information. This will just pop right up. Yeah. This is about, I think, if I'm not mistaken, about the 12th or 12th year of yeah, the History yes. Hayride. And we've got some new actors, no, some new some new characters in the in it this year. We you always some, have characters. Right. We always have characters. <laughs> Uh, characters. Some, some of, very colorful characters. Some, colorful <laughs> characters some, some from the moonshining past. We got some. Uh, everybody's <laughs> favorite. Past. You know, we've got the, the moonshining. We talk about the moonshine history and the <laughs> moonshine runners in the area. Yeah. Uh, everybody's favorite, though, is probably the Black Widow of yeah. Hazel Green, Alabama. Yeah. Uh, she's had a, a, a rough kind of questionable past with the death of And a uh, creepy obsession husbands. with some husband's hats. Right, right. And she kept all the hats. That's exactly right. But come on out. If you've got it, if you don't have anything to do, get on there and register uh, for that event. Well, it's it a wonderful event because you get to hayride, you get to be in the state yes. park, and you get to hear this wonderful reenactment of different characters from DeKalb County history. And it's all local history. It's, it's That's what we love about it. It's all local here. DeKalb and there is County. a charge for that, right? There is a charge. and the, I think the, it's 15, 15 per person. 15 per person. Uh, like I said, you can register there with the, on the online, or if you have trouble, call the office and we can we can direct you to Anna number directly. And all those proceeds go back into the projects that that uh, help do. serve the park. All this goes. This is this is the big fundraiser for the French group. Right. And then also, just like we talked about earlier, we're going to be out with uh, some birds of prey and some snakes out at the Caney Folk uh, Outdoor Festival. Also, uh, coming up this month, the 28th of October is our friends group another fundraiser for the friends group is the fall color cruise oh, what a you fantastic can also register event. for that from that website uh, with the friends group but starting after the week after the hayride so it'd be the monday after the 14th the we start our um three days a week fall color cruise for oh, the yeah. park mm. and uh that the proceeds that goes into the parks donation fund so we've got oh, a nice. busy busy october and we'll you're calling running. that the rangers yes fall, the rangers, color, fall cruise. color cruises and that's monday wednesday and fridays that starts october 16th runs all the way through the end of the month through the 30th yes. uh, and you can call the park office and let's go ahead and give that number 931-858 2114 to reserve your spot for the fall color cruise so that's something that's a little bit new isn't it yes well we started it we, we started it last year well actually two years ago uh -huh. started doing them uh three times a week you know the the friends group has theirs on the 28th and what we do there we get a bunch of boats we get like the marina sponsors us down there and they let us have two or three pontoon boats we yeah. fill those boats up including our own and we take it out for the day or for about three hours 
what we're doing through the week, we've got a we've got a boat that seats about 12 people. We fill up that boat and we go out on a cruise on those days, weather permitting. So if you don't have a boat, here's your big chance That's to get right. out get and on the see water. how beautiful and Center Hill Lake enjoy is. Enjoy our beautiful and our scenery. shoreline and everything else. We also have one more event that's listed here, October 21st, Halloween, Halloween in the Park. Halloween in the Park, that's right, mm. the, big, the big trunk or treat. Now, with this right this here is fun. took off. Uh, it, we, we, we grew, the first year we did it, we you know, last year I think we had around 150 children that showed up. Yeah. What we do, it's kind of like a trunk or treat, but that people decorate their campsite right. or their camper. And we give Creepy prizes. stuff. That's yeah. right. We give, <laughs> we give prizes. Scare you some people. You can get pretty creepy outside. Yeah. That's right. That's Dark right. and creepy. We give out prizes for the, for, for the, for the top two places i think or maybe top three places but some of the prizes include like uh, so many nights of camping uh we've given away before canoe trips with with a uh, candy fork outdoors yeah. it's been great to help us uh on uh, the big rock market and helping us uh promote our events like that yeah by, by funny the marina at grandma's marina get, usually gives us a pontoon ride to give out so there's some good prizes available out there and also the kids bring the kids they'll have candy it's a free the, the that's a free event you just show up dress up in your costume or show up and camp with us and then decorate your campsite and the, we let the we have movies playing we do hot dogs usually marshmallows and there's just candy it's just who don't lots love of, candy i know I mean, lots of fun out there at the State Park. Right. Park. Right. Lots of neat, cool things out there. A lot of October is a busy, and busy oriented. Month. Yeah, October is the is That's a also great my favorite. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> great great months to go camping and uh, and to enjoy the great outdoors. And no better place than Ed Grevin That's State right. Park. Right. Thank you, Brad. Thanks, Brad. Thank you. Good to see you. And another one of our favorite people. Yay! Good morning. Gail Good morning, Gentry Gail. from Appalachian Center for Craft. What's going on, Gail? Lots going on in October for us as well. Good. Um, on the 14th, we'll talk about our one-day workshops. We still have openings in those. We're doing glass fusing, glass blowing, mm. um, wood carving, jewelry making, enameling. All different types of things are going on that day. Um, there's still room. You can register on our website at tntech.edu slash craft center mm -hmm. um, and then on the 22nd one of our very very favorite events is the annual Bacchanal it is a scholarship fundraiser for students from Tennessee Tech who are majoring in art in either clay, fibers, glass, metal, wood, painting, design, mm -hmm. or art education. This event takes place again on the 22nd. Um, it's a Sunday from 1 to 5 p.m. at Spanky's Restaurant in Cookville wonderful wonderful hors d'oeuvres from Spanky's. JJ Ooh. the owner does such a good job. I, we call them hors d'oeuvres but it's more like a meal. Yeah. More and, good food. <laughs> and then our wonderful sponsors include Budweiser of Cookville who donates wonderful craft beers and all different types and then Horizon Wine and Spirits. So in mm. keeping with the Bacchanal theme um, there are spirits to enjoy as well and then at 2.30 we start our live auction. Tug McWilliams from Cookville runs this, uh, this part of the auction. It is incredible. We have artwork donated from artists from all over the country. Blown glass work, we have furniture, we have jewelry, wearables, lovely, incredible scarves, pillows, anything that you could want. Functional works of clay, again, from artists from all over the country. So it's a wonderful chance to come out, have a really good time with fellowship and fun with your friends yeah. and meet some new people and also support these scholarships for these very deserving art yes. students. It allows them to focus more on what they're doing and worry less about finances. So we grant about six to eight scholarships every year and this event really helps sponsor right. those. Yeah. yeah. And you can shop for Christmas. Hey, all the events, you <laughs> know, be right. thinking about Absolutely. Christmas shop for is Christmas, not... shop for yourself. That's right. You yeah, buy something for Christmas, buy something for yourself. Then hey, you I usually have someone in mind when I buy something mm -hmm. and then somehow <laughs> it finds a place on my shelf. You don't want to give it away. <laughs> it's like, oh. I really love that. Yeah. <laughs> Something else. The colors match mine. Yeah, that's right. Oh, that. what was I thinking? Eyes. She doesn't wear that color. <laughs> the other event that we have coming up is our annual holiday festival, and that is taking place November 18th through 19th. We are going to have demonstrations in the gallery, 20% mm. off of every single item in the gallery oh, wow. store. So what a, another chance to there shop you go, for Jim. Absolutely. Birthdays, whatever you'd like. And, and let me just tell you, I was always 
uh, so successful in finding small teacher gifts for Christmas. Absolutely. And that was just the perfect time to be looking, for, you know, shopping for all the kids, mm -hmm. um, the teachers drop. and mm -hmm. Sunday school teacher, whatever, whatever gifts, because you can find small, I mean, you can find wonderful yes. heir, heirloom quality, fantastic, beautiful, big pieces, but also you can find lots of unique small pieces as well. Absolutely. If you find a gift there, it is very unlikely likely that someone else is going to buy that That's same right. gift for someone. It's it's really wonderful to unique. shop for those unique items mm -hmm. for hard to buy for people yep. or again for yourself, for your home, for your friend's home. It's all just a lot of fun. We are also going to be doing free hands-on crafts for kids that day so oh, the kids yay. can come and learn how to marble paper Ooh. or actually floating inks on water and then printing them directly on the paper. Oh, mm -hmm. We're going to be doing stamping and all different types of activities that are free as well as hands-on crafts for adults or those 12 years of age and older. Again, you can come and blow your own glass ornament. Oh, that Use like glass fun. ornaments. You can learn how to do blacksmithing that day and make some hooks for your friends or yourself. Oh, you and do... get all your aggression out. Yeah. Yeah. Blacksmithing is fun. <laughs> <laughs> and stay warm because yes. it would be cool. Yeah, yeah. Yes. right. Um, clay ornaments. Uh, what else do we have? Well, you, you can make your own scarf. We're doing some dyeing of scarves, okay. making a book with this wonderful book. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm working through the media areas, Claudia. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not going to leave you out. So you can make a, a strap bound book with Claudia. Again, the glass blowing or glass fusing, pewter casting, and also wood pyrography and wood carving. So all different types of things that you can make for gifts or for, again, for yourself. And just learn yeah. something really neat and new. Meet these lovely crafters like right. Claudia. Oh, these man. crafty people. <laughs> Amazing folks. Amazing. And for those activities, you can register online. We welcome you to show up as well, but we'd love for you to register online. And again, that is www.tntech.edu slash craft center. Um, again, the lovely gifts all day in the gallery, 20% off. And then the Blue Water Grill on the Hill. Mm. We'll be serving holiday-inspired meals and food. Oh, my so gosh. I can't wait. Lots of good food. Yes. We smell them cooking all day, oh, every day. Uh, they are open all day, You're so day. lucky. Oh, <laughs> yes, indeed. 830 to 3 every day of the week if you'd like to go up there to eat. Mm -hmm. um, and on Friday night before the holiday festival, on November 17th, we're going to offer 25% off of our everything in the gallery wow. from 6 until 9 p.m. and the Blue Water Grill on the Hill will be open for a wonderful three-course meal ah. serving prime rib and oh. coconut encrusted grouper and um, chicken herb roasted chicken, chicken as well as all of the sides. So <laughs> I, go for I like all three. Oh. <laughs> you can register for those online as well. Okay. And again, all in support and all in learning about craft and supporting your local artists. That's wonderful. great. Lots of wonderful things. And we have so many um, amazing talents here in the community. We do. And we, we do. have an event coming up here at the end of the month, which is, again, one of my favorite events to <laughs> uh, participate in, is a showcase of all of these wonderful crafters and artisans who have made DeKalb County their yes. home. Yes. So Claudia Lee is here to tell us all about the annual Off the Beaten Path Studio tour. I can't believe it's coming around already so quickly. Yeah. Um, but this is our 18th year. We're very excited. Wow. wow. Yay. Yeah, we're already Yay. Kind of starting to think about our 20th and having planning. Oh, that. yeah. You need a big yeah. land big. Oh, yeah. it's going to be a big deal. Big deal. This year, um, what one of the things we're really excited about is we have a new studio that we've just added oh, kind of last wow. minute. So we've had 14 studios for a long time and we now have 15. Oh, who this is, is in Woodbury. Oh. I couldn't get to all 14 and you add one? Well, you know, that's yeah. always been part of our area. <laughs> And we just did not have studios there. And yep. now this year we do. Oh, that's great. Alan Daig, who is an amazing furniture maker, mm. um, is going to be, and he's got a gorgeous new studio. You should look at his website. It's the nicest website I've ever seen. And um, he's also going to have a guest artist who does really fun sculptural things from um, Atlanta, I believe. He's coming up from Atlanta. Ooh. So we're excited about that to be kind of opening up that area Ooh, now. Yeah, that's um, great. I think that's going to be terrific. This is our beautiful card. You can kind of look for it. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, good. It lists all our sponsors. We have so many wonderful sponsors 
in our area. We are thrilled to be able to um, promote them and appreciate what they do for us. And um, one of the things that's also new this year, um, we, everything we do is really geared toward directing people to our website because that's where everything is. You can click on different artists and see who's going to be at their studio, see what their work looks like, because you can pick and choose where you want to go. You don't have to do every studio. You can design your own tour. Oh, yeah. Um, the other or like me, I didn't get to this person last year, so that's why I'm right. starting this year. Yeah. 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 Back, back the other way. A lot of people do that, and then people have their favorites that they always want to get to, and then they try new ones, which is great. Yeah. But we also have an interactive map this year that oh, we are good. very excited about. So I can follow on my phone? You can follow on your phone. You Ooh. can click on the artist whose studio you're interested in, and directions will come up for wow. Oh, that is oh man, getting high tech. Oh, we, are, we, challenged. <laughs> we, we have uh, Lucas Antoniak is, has redesigned oh, our website great. and is doing all this, and he is just awesome. We are yeah, thrilled about that. That's great. So that's new. Of course, the yellow and black signs are all over town, pointing to the studios with the studio number on it, so you know which studio. Oh, mm -hmm. And hopefully that will because help. you really do get off the beaten path. <laughs> yes, you do. Sometimes it really way feels off that the beaten path. Sometimes those little. You need a G. Those little, Those little signs are, are, are really what you need to know that you're going in the right direction. We don't let people get too lost. Sure. And it's so beautiful. It's so well, fun. Well, that's the thing. It's a I mean, beautiful drive. For it the is. artists, this is their home. Right. And, of course, they're going to pick something that is... Uh, you know, to their liking, which <laughs> exactly. not necessarily is, it's not really like the retail shop Convenient. on the, yeah, no, but that's, that's the charm of it and the beauty of it. And, right. And, it's in a rustic and, setting, some yes. of them, beautiful setting. And we get to see the artists in, in their own, their element. Uh, right. Yeah, their place of inspiration. Yeah. Right. You are invited into the studios and um, a lot of the studios will have demonstrations going on. Mm -hmm. I know Rob Harvey usually has his, he's unloading his kiln and yeah. something exciting is always going on there. I'll have paper making at my studio. People can see how that goes. Yes. Um, every year we also have one of our, our studio artists um, donates a gift for a drawing mm. and you can fill out a form at every studio um, to be put into the little bar, jar or whatever they have. Yeah. And this year um, we are really happy to have this beautiful Raku fired vase. I don't know if you can actually see that. Ah. It's beautiful. Isn't that nice? Wow, it is beautiful. Oh, yeah, it's Sherry very nice. Gone. Sherry Guard. It's 12 inches tall. Love it. Um, it's valued at $85, and somebody is going to win that beautiful um, vase. Now, I don't know. We may be uh, talking out of step because Suzanne's not here, but uh, but oftentimes that drawing actually happens at the Chamber Chat in it, November. I know, and I'm hoping we can do it in December this Or December, year. Uh, yeah. I think we've had two last year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, we won't have the slips yeah, until so, then. Oh, we'll, yeah, because it comes right right, yeah. right on it. It, it yeah. does, yeah. and we have to collect them from all the different yeah. artists. So, so. we'll keep that in mind for so December. That, yeah, yes, the Chamber really Chat awesome. gets in on the yeah. sticky fingers. And it is. Tell us again the Dates, okay, the dates time. are October 27th, 28th, and 29th. It's always the last full weekend in October, okay. so that's a good way to remember it. And I love, um, I know it's been a, several years, but I love that you've added fr Friday. Yeah, that's to, worked out uh, very nicely. Yeah, because, mm -hmm. uh, because for me, t 10 to 5, um, it, it helps me to be able to plan, you know, oh, I'm going this direction on Friday, I'm going right. this direction on right. Saturday. Right, right, exactly. <laughs> so it, it helps, for those of us who just don't want to miss a single stop, that oh, it's great to have we'll three days. So, so 15 stops, more than 30 participating That's artists. Right. And, uh, and of course, more information is at Off the Beaten Path Tour, all one word, dot com. Thank you so And we will have information at the Claudia. library, too. Yes, you look for tags and cards all And over it's town. rain or shine, it doesn't yeah. Matter. Yes. They, That's right. They, it, we'll, it'll, we'll be there. Bring your umbrella. Great <laughs> stuff. Thanks, Claudia. The beauty is the beauty is there. Yes, it is. Now we are going to talk about something fun at the end of October. Yeah, what it, happens at the end I of don't October? Know. There's a lot of kids out dressed up kind of funny. I what know. is that? What, what <laughs> is that holiday? We have Beth Edcock and Smithville Police Chief Mark Collins here to talk about. Uh, Smithville Halloween downtown. So okay. give us some information on that. Okay. This is what, such a wonderful yeah, event. It it's been uh, maybe a couple of years, three years. Three, How three, many years have you been doing this? It's a, it's a safe event. Yeah. The fifth? Yeah. Oh, fifth year of a sa safe and fun event yes, for children. So what have you got going on for this year? It is. It's a fun event, and it, it, it's one of my uh, most favorite times of the year, the fall and, and just Halloween. Uh, but Tuesday, October the 31st, from 12 p.m. to 5 p.m., 
uh, around the DeKalb County Courthouse there in Smithville. Uh, it's, uh, we encourage everyone to bring, to come, dress up, bring your kids, uh, all the merchants around town, uh, which Beth has been working on. I think she's got a list of, of a lot of the people who are going to be participating, but we encourage everyone to come out. Uh, most of the merchants will be giving out candy and, and uh, some will be uh, giving food away. It's just a fun time around the square uh, for Halloween. And uh, last year uh, we had a huge turnout. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of people on the square dressed up, adults and children alike, you know. So I think it's, we had it's about, a fun time. Yeah, we had about four, 400 or more I wow. think, come to the library. So that's it is really fun. Yeah, it's a and fun the parents time. enjoy it and they appreciate what you do. You know, they do appreciate it. Right. Uh, because a lot of times they don't get to take them out at night. Right. And you know, and it's it's. I know when my kids were little, yeah. they were like worn out by the time trick yeah. and treating was getting ready to start. And, so. it's, <laughs> and it's a school night too. Yeah, so, right. yeah. You know, so right. that that's just wonderful. But there's a lot of things going on that day around the square, and like I said, we encourage everyone to, to come and participate. Uh, I believe the city hall uh, will be giving away hot dogs and drinks again, like we did mm -hmm. last year, so they can get them a bite to eat and and plenty of candy so everybody likes candy yeah, give them candy absolutely. send them home absolutely <laughs> <laughs> So the Chamber is participating in this by sponsoring the best costume contest for downtown businesses and offices. So part of the event, yes, it's um, Smithville Police Department coordinates it and puts it on, but it, it, we rely on everyone of the downtown businesses to, to, to make it as festive as possible for everyone. To get involved. So to get involved, what your downtown business can do is participate in the costume contest. And all you have to do is take a picture of it and then email it to s williams that's suzanne's address s williams at d at decab county chamber dot org or take a picture with your phone and send it to suzanne's phone at 615-464-7760 by 1 30 on uh, October on Tuesday October 31st Oops. that's the the date of the event that's Halloween so all you have to do you don't have to wait for someone to come by you just take a picture of yourselves send it in send it in what first second and third place winners will be uh, presented a Halloween on the square best costume award media recognition and most important bragging rights. bragging rights there you, you go. know I mean you gotta brag a little bit a and, little bit. and it is fun and it's a it, it's neat to see how everyone <laughs> downtown does participate and and open their doors to all the great trick-or-treating that that's going on for Absolutely. the events for the kids and it gets people downtown too and also that same day the Smithville Fire Department uh, from 5 until 7 they stop by for a hot dog candy and a tour of the Smithville Fire Department meet with Smithville Fire Chief Charlie Parker yes and the Smithville Fire Department volunteers right and um, and there's nothing more fun to see a, a bunch of kids looking at a fire truck yes <laughs> They enjoy that. I don't care how many times they've been on the fire truck, they still enjoy it. That's right. Okay. Miss Beth. Absolutely. Well, I found out yesterday we are going to have a children's contest. Okay. Um, Middle Tennessee. Taekwondo. Yes. They are going to do a carnival again this year, which is going to be free. Oh, great. Uh, but they're also going to do the uh, contest. Okay. So we are still waiting for everything to get together. More information. And they're going to... Um, uh, do a flyer and they're going to uh, share that to our uh, police department Facebook page okay. and also you can check their web uh, their Facebook page for updates great so hopefully by the end of the week we will know more about that mm -hmm. but I know a lot of people have been interested in getting the children's contest back yeah <clears throat> and so they're going to sponsor one this well, year right. that's great right. so, good a family event yes so uh and and more events uh, unfolding yes. as the, right. as the month goes on yes. it's going to be like a great growing great and event. Growing yeah. And yeah. yeah and yeah. we thank y'all for putting this on because it is a wonderful event for families and it's a safe event for children to go to and the and the, you know the parents feel secure in the candy they get and you know just it's just a wonderful atmosphere it gets people downtown yeah makes them feel good yep. yeah you know well, just tell them that when they see someone walking around with camera, just a cheap smile, uh, just smile and say cheese. <laughs> <laughs> or trick or treat. Trick or treat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, trick or treat is that evening, is it? it isn't is. it? And so I want to encourage everyone, you know, I, and I, and I'm pretty. I know that that 
parents are aware, but there will be a lot of extra traffic and a lot of extra mm -hmm. pedestrians walking on that day. So mm -hmm. everyone that's out trick-or-treating, just slow down a little bit and pay attention to your surroundings. We we definitely don't want to get one of these young children run over. And they're excited. They're going from house mm -hmm. to house. Yeah, they're not really looking to so see where the cars are. Yeah. Parents, not not as much as they might some parents other night. and even people who aren't participating, uh, you know, on this day, be sure to, to watch and slow down a little bit. Let's, let's give these kids... Uh, uh, plenty of room to run and have a good time on this day. And they need to wear clothes that are maybe, you know, yeah, you can reflect, see. Yeah, reflective, reflective stripes and clothes yeah. is really not yeah. a bad you, idea. Yeah. But, you know, a lot of them won't do it, so it's up to the drivers to, to be on the lookout for these because there on, will be a lot yeah. of kids out that night. Even though it's a school night, yeah. it's still Halloween. Be, it's still Halloween, that's right. Be extra, <laughs> yeah, be extra cautious. Extra that's cautious. right. Thank you all. Great. Thank, and you thank so you. much. And thank you for all that you do in our yes. community. Yes. We, this is a, a, a time when we're, when we're thinking about the events that have happened in Las Vegas that we recognize particularly how how special and important our emergency personnel are. Our so thank responders. you very much yes. for all, everything thank you. that you do. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Thank, thank you. Thanks. Thank you. And Kathy, I bet you're doing something fun on Halloween for uh, at the library, but I bet you have all kinds of things to talk well, about. Well, I'm going to talk a little bit about today. First, I want to, uh, the library staff and the board want to thank everyone that came by and helped Justin Potter Library celebrate their 50th anniversary on the 24th. What an exciting yes. event that was. We had a great celebration. We had lots of cake and punch and lots of pictures and fun with everybody reminiscing. And uh, <laughs> we just want to thank everyone that, uh, that came out that day. It was a beautiful day for it. Uh, we want to thank Shelly uh, Williams from the Sweet Shop for the delicious cake. Beautiful uh, cake. In fact, we didn't want to cut the cake. It was so pretty. So it we did. It was. It looked like books and so yeah, it was. It had lovely. Harry Potter glasses and all kinds of books. <laughs> and even one of the books said 50th anniversary on there. Aww. In fact, we didn't cut that for a couple of days because it was so pretty. Hey, you but, take a picture and then you yes. eat it. Yeah, I know. We did. <laughs> Uh, and we had beautiful flower arrangements from the uh, DeKalb County florist and and some of our library board de generals did uh, beautiful flower arrangements. So we, we mm. want to I want to thank especially thank the library board and staff because they really really worked hard. Yeah. You know decorating. You know you can't just ma a magic wand and say hey everything's done. I mean it takes some time to put it together. It was a whole committee. It was a committee. You know from the slideshows to the pictures on the board to decorating and everybody just pitched in and did a wonderful job. I couldn't have done it without all of them uh, at my back because you, you just can't put everything on. I couldn't have done it, let me tell you. They kept me sane. <laughs> uh, I do want to thank the Chamber for the Milestone Award and mm. Representatives Terry Lynn Weaver and Mark Pody uh, for the proclamation. That was really appreciated. Yep. Thanks to Shan for the pictures. And uh, we had, you know, lots of people show up. We had, direct, you know, former director June Vaughn came and Justin Potter Wilson and his wife. I know, he's and, a uh, fantastic he is. He guy. Was, he is so sweet and we really appreciate him coming. Miss Janelle Pugh, she is the only... Uh, she was the member in 1967, and she's the only board member uh, that Surviving. survived. Yes, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. And she was just so gracious and so sweet. She had such a fun time. She was so excited about it. So, yeah. so we really appreciate and everybody. And who knew, who knew if they even knew 50 years ago when they were, they knew, you know, every community needs a library. Yes. And this was a great opportunity to expand the DeKalb County Library System at that time. Yeah. But I, I just cannot imagine that they thought what, what, mm -hmm. what a wonderful place it would be today. Well, and you know, Miss Emma Burton was, was instrumental in that. She They'd was on the so Proud. Yes, they would be proud. I think, I hope they would be of what we, what we are today, I'm and sure. and how far we have come, and that we are still, after 50 years, still our main focus is serving the community, serving mm -hmm. the public, and giving them what they need, you know, in services. And so we we really appreciate all these people that came before us, the study club they that probably, started the first one. They and probably didn't imagine a, a bay of computers. No. And, and, uh, and, uh, and books, online. books online. Yes. <laughs> Uh, but it's all part of it and how wonderful it's, our library system is it's now. It's part of growing. That's uh, right. And also today, our, you know, we're continuing our art classes in October. Helen is still teaching our art classes. Today, we are having our watercolor for adults mm. at 10 o'clock. Zentangle for adults uh, next uh, Wednesday, the 11th. Very therapeutic. Yes, it is. All right. Makes me nervous, but uh, everybody else loves it. <laughs> I get, you know, I, I'm a, not a participant, but I am a gopher. I do all the uh, kind of helping Helen out, you yeah, know. Yeah. 
handing the water out, doing all this stuff. The kids will be at 12 o'clock that day. The mixed media for adults on the 25th at 10 and the kids at 12 o'clock. And on the downtown Halloween, we will be giving out candy as well uh, from 12 until 5. Uh, like I say, we've had about four or 500 you know, participants come in, all dressed up in all different costumes. The staff will probably be dressed up a little bit too. I don't know. We're trying to coordinate. I don't know. We can't coordinate. Everybody just does their own thing. Uh, but we are going to have a Halloween craft uh, from 3 to 5 that awesome. day. We're going to have Halloween crafts so you can come in and you can decorate something for Halloween. I think we're going to be doing some bookmarks and some different things. So come in and do a little craft from 3 to 5 that day. Um, so we're going to have fun. You know, it's, yeah. it's, it's a wonderful event. And visit our Facebook for any information you want on the library of what we are doing, visit our Facebook or our website at decablibraries.net or call Justin Potter Library at 615 Always fabulous things going 4359. on. 4359. So yes. lots of good things going on in the community in October. So we are appreciative of everyone that was here today. Yes. Let me get to my little last page here. Oh my goodness. There we go. So it has come to the last page, believe it or not. We are all of these wonderful yeah. events. Hope you get out. Enjoy yeah. the beautiful weather of October. Enjoy these wonderful events events that we have in our community. And the Chamber wants to promote your news or special events, so call the Chamber office at 615-597-4163 or email Suzanne at swilliams at dekalbcountychamber.org and she'll help you spread the word. Absolutely. And I want to thank my co-host, Jen Sherwood. Yay! Uh, and all our special guests this morning. Man, we, we had a crew. Yeah, we had a lot, but you know we got through it. Look here what time it is. And we're grateful for WJLE Radio and DTC TV for sponsoring our Chamber chat program. And we appreciate appreciate our listening and viewing audiences. Thank you. And we will be back, you know, next time. Same chat time. Same chat channel. Have a happy October. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.